Good morning and welcome to Cougar TV. I'm Lakeith Trainer, And I'm Xavier Romero. With temperatures dropping, the Cougar closet is in full swing and Coronado is asking you to donate your unused clothing. I'm gonna drop some bags and I've got zero dollars in my pocket. I, I, I'm hunting, looking for a come up. This is freaking awesome. Walk up to Coronado like, what up? I got a pair of Crocs, now I'm pumped up. About to donate to the Cougar shop. Oh. Boots with the fringe are so costly. That's a worthless investment. Rolling in deep, headed to the Nasium. Drop my clothes off, now to get a hat for my cranium. Donations can't stink, girl standing next to me. Probably should have grabbed it. Smells like freshly polished cleats. Bliss. All of this is free. Grab it, bag it, bring it. Better than wasting it. Filling up all the donation bins that the office is showcasing. Man, you. Man, you. Drop your donations off in the donation bins by the front office this week, and all students are invited to the Cougar Closet to pick out some new clothes. In other news, there's a show coming to Coronado this week, and it's called Almost Maine. And it starts at 7 p.m. on the 12th and the 13th of November, and on the 14th is a Saturday show that starts at 2 p.m. The tickets cost $7 for students and adults, and $5 for children under 10. Tickets are available at the door or at myschoolbucks.com. Cougar TV now brings you a short preview of Almost Maine. There's a play coming to Coronado. It's called Almost Maine, and it's about relationships, falling in love, and falling out of love. On the 12th and 13th of November, it starts at 7 o'clock p.m. There's also a showing on the 14th at 2 o'clock p.m. It costs $7 for adults and students. Children under 10 get in for $5. Tickets are available at the door or at myschoolbucks.com. What a good looking cast. Now let's head over to the main man stand. Thanks fellas. Now let's see how your cougars did last week. 
Cross country team ran great for their last meet. The boys made it to state and the girls finished fifth at state. Great job, runners. As you saw a couple weeks ago, volleyball is kicking some butt as they're on their way to state on Friday at the Denver Coliseum. With fall sports coming to a close, sports are just beginning. Rock climbing is just getting going and they are currently undefeated. So we decided to interview Mr. Felix and Eli Johnson. So, you know, once again, it, it, this is really an extension of uh, Rocky Mountain at uh, Coronado. About five years ago, um, management from City Rock called me and they said, hey, do you have a climbing team? I said, well, no, we don't have a climbing team. They said, well, we have this climbing league. So I talked to a couple of the students in our class and we had a handful of kids that were really interested in climbing, top rope and bouldering. So we kind of put together this team real low key and for the first year we had just a handful of students second year we grew a little bit third year we grew a little bit more and then last year and this year we're up to around 30 members about 17 18 that compete maybe more uh, very shortly because we're going to get some more athletes from other sports uh, from the from the fall sports right now so So my freshman year um, came into it and it was kind of like this little climbing team thing and uh, we started going through the year, got to our first competition and you know Felix sat us down and um, he goes, you know, okay, do you guys want this to be um, a real team? We said yes, we want, we want to grow to be something bigger than what we are now. And uh, since then, you know, we've taken off, we've started working out, we're down here five days a week um, in most cases. We've had a ton of kids join the team and it's just, it's really blown up. And um, I don't know if you guys heard, we are now the um, un only undefeated sports team at Coronado. Uh, so we've got a lot of guys that have just taken this and run with it. We do have quite a few guys, but we're really lacking in girls and we really would like to see this team grow because everyone who joins the team really becomes not only a better climber but a better person and seeing these people change has just been awesome and we'd love to branch that out to the rest of Coronado. That's all for sports, now back to you fellas. As many of you know, the Harvest of Love canned food drive began earlier this month. And for you, those of you that don't know, it is the collection of donations in your fourth period class that will go to the less fortunate. Let's talk to Vice President Allie Hill on what we've done so far. Hi, I'm Allie Hill and I'm the student body vice president. So Harvest of Love is a food drive we do every year to help out uh, families in don't have enough food in their house on the west side of Colorado Springs. Um, this year we're doing a competition to every fourth period class. Um, the top three classes get a pizza party. So in the last three days we brought in about a hundred dollars which it equivalents to 10 pounds each so it's about a thousand pounds in, for a Karen chair and then food wise we've brought in about 50 cans for um, Cougar's Care. We have a bunch of clubs that help out without an incentive all the time, so I think even without the um, incentive, we still get a good turnout. Wow, 1,000 pounds is no joke, and that was only the first week. Shout out to all the clubs that do so much for the Coronado community. The generosity is impressive. Keep it up, everyone. Well, that just about wraps up another week at Cougar TV. Join us next week to find out what's happening in your hallways. I'm Xavier Romero. And I'm Lakeith Trainer. Thanks for tuning in and enjoy the rest of your week.